Hey everybody, my name is Jessica and I am an American who has converted to Islam and um, a couple people wanted me to tell my um, story and so I'm kind of just doing a practice video um, for my real video obviously. I've been at work all day, I'm really tired, it's really late. Um, but I did want to, you know, go ahead and, and do a practice video um, and, you know, maybe get some of you guys interested in Islam and hearing my story. Um, I was born uh, here in America and my family was Christian, mostly Lutheran and Methodist. And I went to church my whole life, uh, fell away from the church, and I um, ended up having my son at 15 years old. I was um, into uh, drugs, everything that you could possibly imagine. I ran away from home, I was in juvenile detention centers, I uh, had a very, very rough uh, growing up time, and um, I always believed in, in God. Um, I love Allah, and uh, I love Jesus, but the Trinity confused me, and it made me not want to go to church. The fact that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God were like an egg, and Jesus being the egg yolk, God being the egg shell, and um, the egg white being the Holy Spirit just did not make sense to me at all. I've never viewed them as uh, one entity, and I think it goes against everything that Jesus taught, um, that there is one God, and we need to worship uh, God. So, um, anyway, you know, they throughout the Bible, they consistently use the title to God to refer to someone other than Jesus. And um, there's a quote that I'd like to read uh, that really caught my attention at first. And it is, Men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man credited to you by God with miracles, wonders, and signs which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. And that's Acts 2.22. So basically what that's saying is they're two different people. God did his work through Jesus, his prophet, uh, peace be upon him. And, um, you know, there's there's no way for, for them to be one. Um, a lot of people, when I converted to Islam, they said, well, how can you believe in, in Allah? Allah is not God. It's a different God. And it's so silly to me because, you know, in English, God is the word we use for God. In Arabic, Allah is the word that they use for God. In Russian or Slavic languages, they use the word Bog for God. Um, Shen, I believe is pronounced in Chinese. Dios in Spanish. So you see there's lots of beautiful, glorious names for God. And um, Allah is just one of them, but he is the one and only God. Um, the people of the book, the Christians, the Jews, we all believe in the same God. And um, so many people just, they don't understand that. Or they'll say, well, oh, you're Muslim now. Well, you don't believe in Jesus. Well, no, we do. We believe in Jesus. You know, peace be upon him. We love Jesus. And he did so much good. And, and he was a man of truth. And he, um, you know, really did wonderful, wonderful things here, and um, it says in the Quran that uh, on the day of judgment, Jesus will be sitting on Allah's right hand side, and he will be one of the main people that we see, um, but as far as him being God, I just, I don't believe that, and um, everyone has to, you know, look in their own heart and ask questions and decide what they believe, um, but one of the things uh, another thing about in the Bible, and I have it written down here so that I can exactly um, quote, is that Jesus prayed to God and that God prays to no one. Jesus prayed saying, Father, all things are possible to thee. Remove this cup from me, yet not that what I will, but what thou will. And that was in Mark 14, 36. And Jesus fell on his face and he did pray to God. Um, begging God to take away the death on the crucifixion. So this shows that Jesus had a will different from God's own will. Jesus didn't want to do this, but God knew that this is what needed to happen. So you see how it's showing that they're not the same person. Um, if 
God and Jesus had the same will, he wouldn't have had to ask that. He wouldn't have had to declare it in the moment of de desperation, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And that was in Matthew 27. So he's not saying to himself, well, you know, he's speaking to Allah. Um, he constantly says in the Bible, the Father is greater than I. John 14, 28. He says, I can do nothing on my own authority, John 5, 30. And um, he's made it very clear, I think. I mean, there's so many examples. I have like a whole sheet in my hand right now um, of different examples that I found in the Bible, not one uh, where he ever says that I am God or his um, disciples believe that he was God. And he says, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. And that was in Mark 10, 18. So you have to stop and wonder, you know, is... Is a trinity, is that really real? Is, is that what um, I believe when that goes against what Jesus himself taught? He never declared himself as God. And um, anyway, so I could go on and on and on about that. But um, when I came to Islam, I loved everything about it. The simplicity, the fact that, again, God is one. Um, the fact that we bow down before God. When I die and I meet Allah and see my father again, I can't imagine standing there looking him in the eye. I picture myself falling to my face, not my knees, my face, falling to my face, praising him. Not even being able to look into his eyes because he is so good and, and we are just, I just can't imagine. And, and it makes me teary eyed thinking about it. Um, the, the head covering. Uh, I do not wear this all the time. Uh, I'm still new to Islam and I do go swimming. I try to wear one piece so that it's more conservative. Um, but, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of discrimination, especially being in the South. And I've actually been fired from a job for wearing my, my headscarf. Um, but a lot of people will say, well, that's to degrade women. But it's so funny to me because in every picture that I ever see of the Virgin Mary, she is depicted as wearing a long veil over her head and nobody questions her or asks her, you know, why is your head covered? Or the nuns who we have today, they cover all the time and nobody ever says anything about them. I think you have cultures that show bad things on, on a, a certain religion. There are certain cultures that make religion look bad and it's really not. Islam is peace and it's a, it's a wonderful religion. If you open up the Quran and you, you look for the answers yourself, you'll definitely see that it is not about terrorism. It's totally, totally, totally against uh, everything that Allah holds dear to his heart. And um, and so that's, that's basically what I think. Um, but I, I do like the head covering. I like the fact that I don't have people staring and groping me with their eyes up and down. Um, I don't have to worry about materialistic things anymore. I was so focused on the newest clothes, you know, the prettiest this, the prettiest that, the nice jewelry, this and this and this and this. And don't get me wrong, I still like to look nice, but those things became so much a part of my focus that I stopped focusing on God. And this life is so temporary. And we need to be here worshiping Him so that we can be with Him again. And this is just a short, short time. It's like we all have spiritual green cards and we are um, just visiting. And, and we need to make the most out of our time and, and be good to the poor. Help the poor, you know, help a friend in need, be there for somebody. Um, what I would love uh, is for our Islamic Center to get with some churches and open up a soup kitchen and all the people of the book um, coming together and, and helping those, you know, and, and, and just praising God and uh, putting what little difference that we have um, aside. And um, anyway, so I hope that this was uh, somewhat interesting. I know it was kind of like a little bit Jatter brain because my mind is going a thousand million ways a second. Um, I don't know, you know, exactly how to put my words into great order, um, which is the purpose of my practice video. So, um, anyway, I hope if you have any questions, you'll leave comments and let me know what you think, um, or if you have.